Hello and welcome. My pursuit of building a radio broadcasting station began in 2012 with an experiment involving an AM modulated signal transmitted via a Tesla coil. This test demonstrated the difficulty of shielding radio signals in the near field. A 1 kHz tone sent through the resonant coil was detectable on the sidebands of this frequency on a radio receiver enclosed within nested boxes. I revisited this area of research in 2021, creating a series of videos on scalar wave communication. These videos introduced concepts like modulation and superheterodyne radio receivers using operational amplifiers. In 2024, I published several scientific papers, including one accepted by the Fifth International Conference on Electrical Engineering in Sydney. My current project, focusing on a similar theme, is planned for publication by the end of next year. Motivated by limitations in transmitting audio signals, I undertook the construction of a complete, self-contained radio station. This eliminates the need for external devices and can even drive high-load applications like Tesla coils for generating plasma sound. The prototype's design will be captured on a PCB, which I plan to share with my members. The radio broadcast station consists of the following components. I've redesigned my TS555 TLC-based square wave signal generator, originally developed in 2010. This new version features a push-pull stage for duty cycle control, along with a sequentially connected capacitor and potentiometer for precise frequency adjustment. An inverted hex Schmidt trigger IC serves as the output stage to maintain signal clarity at frequencies up to 3 MHz, and resistive termination provides a 55 ohm source. This low power microwatt device, ideal for driving class C, E, F, G, and H amplifiers, will be available as a standalone unit, eliminating the need for a traditional signal generator. The power distribution system for each amplifier, shown below, supports a 12 volt to 36 volt supply, with the class C amplifier accommodating up to 60 volts. The core of the radio station, the amplitude modulator, bottom right, modulates the carrier wave's amplitude with the audio signal, producing the sound received by a radio. A Class A amplifier boosts the modulated signal's amplitude for the subsequent stage. The Class AB push-pull stage provides high-fidelity power amplification without the crossover distortion typical of Class B amplifiers, preparing the signal for the final stage. The familiar Class C amplifier commonly used in power projects, serves as the final amplification stage. This stage can be replaced with other high-power amplifier types, such as Class E, for high-frequency RF power transmission. So I'd like to give you a quick demonstration. There's a lot of noise here involved because the microphone is also wireless and the interference of the radio signal is quite strong. There's very little power, actually only 200 milliwatt currently coming out here on a tuned coil um, sending it out to the frequency which is adjusted here and we are receiving on a signed bands we are receiving the signal on the radio so I will start now um, the amplifier, the radio station and you see now on the oscilloscope you can see now the modulation taking place I start the radio now, so the sound is clearly um, audible. Fine adjustments need to be done via the different power supplies. Each one requires a different power level that needs to be adjusted, which makes this a very complex and uh, um, challenging setup um, to work with where in the beginning everything was set up and nothing was working. This is because the, the signal has to get through in the right fashion in terms of um, voltage level and that is the only way it works. So the required or let's say the um, recommended voltage levels cannot be assumed to be correct. There's a lot of um, tests to be done and calculation to be done in order to get that done. Have a little bit of sound again. And as you can see here on the oscilloscope, 
an important part is here when you look on the left side when you see here the narrow and the and large area the narrow area is where the carrier signal gets reduced by the amplitude and this level should not be higher than 30 percent otherwise your carrier wave gets completely cut off which you want to avoid so 30 percent should be the maximum amplitude met modulation for the signal in order to have a clean and clear sound transmitted over a long distance so this is, was the uh, quick overview thank you very much for watching until the next time goodbye